NBC4 at 6. Ahead on NBC4 at 6, a piece of history comes alive. I didn't even know what an atomic bomb was. All I knew was that I was going to be getting to come home. Coming up, we're going to hear from a local veteran who's kept a priceless piece of World War II history in his closet for more than 75 years. Right now, a piece of war history is at the Grove City Historical Society. It's from the day Japan surrendered nearly four years later. NBC4's Katie Farrell has that story. Well, Colleen, today I spoke with a Grove City veteran who served as a high-speed radio operator during World War II. He's held on to the original ticker tape translation announcing Japan's unconditional surrender for more than 75 years. Bill, who didn't want us to use his last name, is a humble man who doesn't like to talk about himself. It took some convincing for him to talk about this. It was the first message of any kind between Japan and the United States. This is the original ticker tape translation from September 2nd, 1945. It's been in my, in my closet. There it stayed for decades until he loaned it to the Grove City Historical Society. And he kept this as a memento, and it's very historic. It reads in part, This is the first direct message of any kind between Japan and the United States since that infamous day, December 7th, 1941. Japan surrendered and the war was over. I knew I was going to be going home, that's all I know. At 94, Bill remembers a lot about the war, but says he's no hero. He's lost too many friends on the battlefield. There's so many people that are not on the front lines and they're all heroes to me. And Bill also held on to the original ticker tape. It was barely holding up. That will soon be on display at the Historical Society as well. It's really amazing. I think he's had that in his closet for all of these years. And, you know, he was a radio operator. Yep. They all had such important jobs. And every one of those World War II veterans you talk to, they're always so humble. Oh, my gosh. And they always want to say, no, the other guy was a hero. And, and that's, that's why I took some convincing today. Yeah. He said, it's not about me. I want this to be not at all about me, be about my buddies and, and the people who... It, you know, it really lost. was the greatest generation. Yeah. Yeah. Good <sighs> you hope there'll be another one. Yeah, <laughs> that's true. <laughs> All right. Thanks so much.